up our shenanigans down there. That's why I shouted him out. He definitely got it. Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. So, so, wait, what? Because people thinking that this shit is pizza. How you know? Because your your appeal didn't affect BG Nuke because you definitely point shit out saying he had a fall guy and this and that and where the bear was facing. Right, freeze it right there. Oh, this, nigga nigga right, this, nigga right here, this nigga right here is all confused. First of all, you stupid motherfucker. The BGKC toll loan is not a fucking Texas case. It's a fucking New Orleans case. First of all, dummy. Second of all, if you're going to say the whole song, say the whole song. The song in it, we had a long ride, but it's over. He just he done it two, three songs. I, I can press play on right now. Third of all, nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? The case dude got right now and got to do with the case he told on. What he talking about? Ain't no the nigga signed the affidavit. He don't know that. I swear, my brothers from the south. I don't know if it's the way they talk, but they be sounding real dumb as fuck. That nigga this, definitely sounds. He sounded dumb as a motherfucker. This nigga is what the fuck a soldier still got to do with any of this shit. What the fuck New Orleans got to do with any of this goddamn shit? Nigga, of course you ain't gonna file the Texas law. Because it's New Orleans where the case is at. And it's stipulated in the paperwork that they withdrew the man's guilty plea due to his counsel being fucked up. New Orleans, Louisiana law. This is a Louisiana case. This nigga think it's a Texas case. That's what I'm saying. That's what he think, right? It's not a Texas case. The nigga clearly stated Blunt had to be flown in from Texas to Louisiana. They made him stay downtown French Quarter so he could take the stand on. What the fuck is this nigga talking about right here, man? Like you sound dumb as fuck. You sound illiterate. You sound like a fucking dunce. Nothing you saying is making fucking sense. Soldier Slim ain't got a fucking thing to do with this. The city of New Orleans ain't got nothing to do with this. And you from Atlanta. Didn't he say he's from Atlanta? Yeah, he definitely said he's from Atlanta. Okay, so what does he mean show me a case in Texas? We won't. We'll show you a fucking case in Louisiana where he withdrew the plea. Third of all, the motherfucking case BG ended up going to jail for, what are he talking about one gun? They caught the niggas with three guns. It was definitely the three guns. The same three guns they identified them niggas having in the music video. Ooh. What is he talking about? All the niggas went to jail for one gun. See, when niggas go do this type of dumbass, stupid ass shit, not understanding, we not only read the paperwork, we study the paperwork. So every time you say some dumb shit, we scratching our head. So no, it's not Texas law, it's Louisiana law. Secondly, BG case he went to jail for, had nothing to do with them telling, and it wasn't one gun. They got caught with three guns, which they used the videos against them to identify who had each individual gun that was also found in the fucking car and they hit BG with a witness tamper because they had him on the phone saying tell the nigga take the case sign the affidavit and our pain feds already had the goddamn wiretap so that's why they hit him with the witness tamper so let's get that out the way soldier slim ain't got a goddamn thing to do with nothing you putting soldier slim in some rat shit why is it rat shit because the paperwork document it says the nigga took the stand in front of the grand jury and gave up statements I don't understand this nigga's angle uh, uh, you know uh, I'm just, but I'm coming to it at all uh, uh, you know uh, why is, why why is told like black one you know because this is New Orleans and, and this whole and, and this, this whole 
friend and why would y'all say something and let him say something because the power moves because I know some power moves and I ain't even know I ain't from Louisiana I'm, 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 I'm from Atlanta but at the end of the day what I'm really doing right now is uh, I'm, I'm chasing because I ain't got nothing uh, else to talk about because I'm just gonna just uh, talking and let me just uh, say something that don't make no uh, sense and then hopefully oh whack 100 or uh, do a reaction video and uh, I can go ahead on and tell everybody look 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 or uh, whack 100 or uh, <laughs> <laughs> <talk about it. laughs> uh, so there you go there go your reaction motherfucker take it and run from it <laughs> with that shit fuck are we talking about right now I just said see they make this shit too easy bro they make it too easy. Quap, they make it too easy for us to respond to, bro. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? This nigga got me over here crying. Fuck out of here. <laughs> you better leave me alone. I'm feeling good. R&B still naked. I'm OD'd on vagina. Nigga, you better leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I sit in the pot right pocket right now and act a damn fool. All day goddamn long, nigga. These niggas got me in solitary confinement with a bad bitch with an unlimited motherfucking food menu, nigga. I ain't tripping. And a motherfucking, I got a whole refrigerator for the soft drinks, nigga. We can talk all goddamn day long, you fucking dummy. Yeah. Fuck is this nigga talking? Like, what is he talking about? That's why when I heard a little bit of that shit, I'm like, hold on. Talk. And then the song he reciting, he's reciting the song, the first two Bar, four five bars what Stunner didn't send me and never showed up then he ends it right this still cash money it's all love right then he says it's been a long run but it's over actually hold on who got audio in here cause I I damn sure just said this one to Stunner last night and he went crazy where this shit at Who was that? Is Rose, who, who got audio? Rosetta in here? Rosetta and Lady Killer. I ain't fucking with Lady Killer audio. That's out. Yeah, I'm in here. Uh-uh. I use that bitch to go fight and some other shit, but not her audio. I'm dead, way. No, I put a microphone in front. Lady Killer played audio one time. Nigga, that shit was so muffled. I thought that shit was in one of them holes I went in in Vietnam. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm on club well, she day. Try, she trying. <laughs> But she club tried day though. So yeah, I'm she, on I'm on club day. She tried. I'm on club day. Here go another one. I was listening to the BG and, and uh Gucci Mane album last night. I was driving back in and this nigga stay taking shots. I just sensed thunder of this one last night. So, you know, to put the ice on the cake. The other one he heard the other one. That nigga said, Birdman said he's gonna send me a car and never showed up. I told him I need three men. He told me, hold up. Whatever, whatever, whatever. He said, been a long run, now it's over. Now, this is a new one. You got it, Rosetta? Yep. Let's press play, Rosetta. Thank you. Uh oh. I'm independent. I ain't trying. What Bird? Bird man say? What man say? I just said, he never heard it. I just said it to him last night. I called him. I said, nigga, I'm independent. I ain't signing with no bad team. He said, where that come from? Now I said, that's what BG said. He said, said it where? I said, him and uh. Gucci, the little album they just put out. He said, that nigga ain't said that. I said, you want to bet? He said, no, Neff, I don't bet you, because, nigga, you ain't a bet man, and the only time you want to bet, unless you got the shit. He said, that's on wax. I said, that nigga said, I'm in there. He said, hold on, Neff. Now, you just sent me the other one, and I heard that shit. He talking about the car never showed up, and it's, everything is over. I heard that shit. The nigga come right at me. You telling me this nigga got a song out that he just dropped, that said he independent and he ain't signing with no bad team. 
I said, yeah. So I sent it to him. Now, this is where it get ugly at. Usually, if he a little bit mad, he'd call me back. And he'd just be talking crazy. But when that nigga real mad, that's when he go to thinking. And when he go to thinking, he don't talk. I ain't heard from the nigga. And I sent this to him yesterday at about 6.30 p.m. Which lets me know a lot of y'all fake BG fans ain't listen to this motherfucking album. Cause Hell, no, I ain't listen to that. Think about it, bro. The, the bloggers ain't even listen to it. Cause they would have, they would have, they would have touched on it. That's a fact. They would have touched on it. Ain't nobody, listen, ain't nobody listening to it. I checked the numbers. The shit ain't made it down the street or around the corner. <laughs> Which is, which is that was Bur- bad promotion. Birdman said, "I will say this now. I checked the numbers on that on that thing he did. He said that shit ain't made it down the street or around the corner. He said I'd have gave that nigga all that money. I was on Birdman ass. So I said, bro, what's the budget? Am I seeing this right? What you doing? I'm like, tell me that this is a gift on top of a budget." But don't tell me that's his budget. That don't make sense. Hey, you ain't gonna make the money back. Now, if you don't think, man, they not in the dude like that, bro. That nigga Fred Flintstone, Barney Rubble, bro. Oh, whack, you tripping. I'm just telling you what it is, bro. These kids ain't gonna respond to him. He getting out with that shit. For one, his voice is more mature. Two, you know, his, his sound is slightly different. Three, the nigga rapping like Curtis Blow, bro. It's, it's old with. And Bo, he too goddamn old. Nigga, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You ain't finna get no run or nothing out this nigga. You not finna get no run. It's gonna be. This whole pattern. I can do everything, nigga. I'll rap BG right now. You niggas wanna play with me, you ain't said shit. You wanna play with me, I put you in the casket. I'm whack 100, nigga. I know that. Fucking with whack, I put you on your back. I can do this shit all day long. And I ain't even a fucking rapper. Nigga, nigga, turn up your radio, better be some. You nigga, turn up your radio, better be some RB. For those that know me, then you know I keep her on her feet. Grab the motherfucking ankles. Let me hit that. Nice. What they call me on the hundred side? She called me Daddy Wag. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Uh, I, I can do. I can do that. You not gonna get no run out this thing. Not, BG's not going on the verse. Therefore, the kids are gonna say, "Uh, turn it off. Go to the next song." And one thing about these badass kids, they ain't coming back. Once they smell some shit that don't smell right, they're not coming back. They don't give a fuck. Yo, come back and re-listen. Nah, that's okay. No, nah, that's definitely no. Nah, nah. That's that's how they are, bro. You know, we grew up on it, and at a time when we grew up on it, that was it. His voice was different. Right, it was a new thing. It was it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now it sounds like it's an old nigga holding his nose. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't a lot of people that sounded like him back then. Now everybody sounds like him. Yeah. But you got niggas that sound like him that's runs. They doing runs. They flipping the words, they twisting it, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, they doing all this shit. His flow is the same. He ain't, he ain't got shit different. Yeah. No, I mean, I made mean, me and that nigga, but Stunner, Stunner was on my line. Nah, whack. Neff, listen, this is what we gonna look, Stunner. You don't need to be doing that, bro. Neff, you gonna tell me what I need to be doing? Exactly. I'm your brother, I'm your business partner. That's the wrong move. Cut that budget in half at least, nigga. Fuck it. You gonna get a nigga get don't get that nigga no three man one one point five man. That's it. You wanna get a nigga uh seven fifty uh five hundred for his pocket, 
Then you want to go spend another 500 recording. Now, you know niggas don't charge us like that. And you want to spend 500 on, on marketing and, and or, or uh, 100 on 150 on videos and another 350 on marketing and, and all that shit, then so be it. But that three men you talking about, Stunner? Nah, man. I can't see it. Ain't nothing going to come back. That 1.5, we ain't going to feel. We absorb that shit. By the end of the year, we be them broke even if we write that shit off and we keep moving. You know what I'm saying? But that other shit you talking about, no, because we could take that and go break two new niggas. Hey, I could totally understand. The shit that he pushing right now is not the shit that people want to hear. No, That's it's not. We talking that. business. Now, this is this was going on before I even got this, this paperwork. No, this how I know. Danny been telling me, look, nigga, you, uh, you, you're different. Like, you're different. You see shit, you feel shit. You know, you're different. I can only read you so far because of whatever reason. So when I got the the fucking paperwork, oh shit, this was a gift. <coughs> but this black bald head nigga right here, this I thought I saw a putty cat nigga. I don't know what the fuck he talking about. I never even heard of this nigga. That's why I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? This nigga named OG Freeze. This nigga got a police name. <laughs> nigga, I declare your name to be a police name, nigga. The first time we heard that terminology, niggas on police academy. Freeze! And it was the police with a 38 special, nigga. I declare your name to be a police name. That should be the headline. Whack 100 declares OG Freeze name to be a police name. So now I see why you side with with, with uh, PG, my nigga. We get it, nigga. I, I see what's going on. Damn. Me and team, why me you team I gave y'all enough shit. I didn't mimic this nigga. We didn't play the other music. Them dissing, stunning, cash money. We This is great content. Y'all can thank King Guap or whoever for bringing this shit. I don't know if it was Big <laughs> Titty Tink up here to the top left. You know what I'm saying? But those of y'all fellas who like women with very, very large, voluptuous breasts, uh, Tink is a young gunner up there. Tink, <laughs> you up there? I'm crying. Tink, oh nigga, Tink, oh, all cost eighty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents a piece. It's a high dollar bro right there, man. More material. You know what I'm saying? She got a little indentation on her motherfucking shoulder.